Hello everyone, and welcome to the second video in our Analytics Byte series. My name is Kevin Pinkerton, and I'm a Startup Solutions Architect here with AWS. Before we get started, I want to go over our agenda. We'll start by recapping the previous video before discussing some important concepts for this video. We'll then talk about some customer successes, the core services enabling those successes, reference architectures you can create with some of those services, and finally, we will conclude our video with next steps. To recap, in our Analytics Bytes kickoff, we showed you the value of data in creating modern data architectures on AWS. A modern data architecture enables startup customers to think big. You can create comprehensive and ambitious visions for all your analytic needs. You can get business value quickly by starting small on one or several high priority workloads. Finally, you can scale fast. You can easily add new data sources, scale up workloads, and support new analytics when the time comes. Here's the reference diagram for modern data architecture. In this episode, we will be discussing the serverless data lake portion of this architecture. This includes the ingestion of OLTP databases, as well as data from other software as a service offerings like Salesforce and Slack, transformation of that data, and finally, consumption. Let's get started with some important concepts. Serverless technologies feature automatic scaling, built-in high availability, and a pay-for-use billing model to increase agility and optimize cost. These technologies can also eliminate infrastructure management tasks, like capacity provisioning and patching, so you can focus on initiatives that benefit your customer. A data lake is a centralized repository that allows you to store all of your structured and unstructured data at any scale. It connects your relational and non-relational databases to your big data processing and machine learning workflows, as well as hosting logs and other such data. With data from more sources, all in one place, you can collaborate and analyze data in different ways, leading to better and faster decision making. You can also more easily enforce data governance, ensuring your customer's data remains secure. It is the foundation on which many analytical workflows are built on AWS. Not only is a data lake on AWS cost effective, it opens the door to other analytical and ML engines. Now, let's see how customers are taking advantage of serverless data lakes on AWS. Busy Group is one of Indonesia's largest B2B e-commerce platforms. Busy wanted to provide more value to the customers on its platform by offering them insights gathered from sales patterns and consumption trends. Busy's existing data infrastructure, however, could not provide Busy with a real-time view on product movement and sales, which made it difficult for them to make timely decisions and correspondingly react to user demands. Busy handled these challenges by creating a data lake with Amazon S3 to centralize 13 data sources, handling around 6,000 stock keeping units, six to seven layers of pricing and promotions, and about 180,000 customers and other variable data. Leveraging S3's scalability, they were able to start collecting hourly data on key information such as delivery status, stock status, payments, and sales performance. The data leak, which increased the speed of data ingestion from Busy's touch points by 25%, enabled Busy to meet heightened user demand and provide brand owners with more sales opportunities during this time. Founded in 2004 and bought by Amazon in 2010, Woot offers special deals and limited time offers. Woot was looking to replace their legacy data warehouse, which was built on a relational database. They started looking at how they could decouple their Oracle database and adopt a microservices approach using purpose-built tools. This migration required developing new ETL pipelines to get new data flowing in while also migrating existing data. The Woot data team was really just one person. Because of this, it was important to focus on AWS services that removed the undifferentiated heavy lifting of managing infrastructure as demands changed and technologies evolved. Woot ended up using Kinesis Data Firehose for data ingestion, S3 for storage, AWS Glue for data processing, as well as Amazon Athena and QuickSight for querying and visualization. Woot had developed their legacy database over the course of five years. They recreated it as a serverless data lake in about three months. 
From an operational perspective, this investment quickly paid off. Their operating costs fell by almost 90%. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with some of those core AWS services you just heard about. Amazon S3 is our data lake service. Amazon Simple Storage Service is an object storage service offering industry-leading scalability, data availability, security, and performance. With low, cost-effective storage classes and easy-to-use management features, you can optimize costs, organize data, and configure fine-tuned access controls to meet specific business, organizational, and compliance requirements. AWS Glue is a serverless data integration service that makes it easy to prepare data for analytics, machine learning, and application development. Glue provides all of the capabilities needed for data integration, so you can gain insights and put your data to use in minutes instead of months. Traditional data integration is a complex and iterative process that involves multiple tasks, such as extracting data from various sources, enriching, cleaning, normalizing, and combining data, and loading and organizing data. These tasks are often handled by different types of users that each use different products. Glue provides both visual and code-based interfaces to make data integration easy. Users can easily find and access data via the Glue data catalog. Data engineers and ETL developers can visually create, run, and monitor ETL workflows with a few clicks in AWS Glue Studio. While data analysts and data scientists can use AWS Glue Data Brew to visually enrich, clean, and normalize data without writing any code. Amazon Athena is a managed serverless interactive query service that makes it easy to analyze data directly in S3 using standard SQL. With a few actions in the AWS Management Console, you can point Athena at your data store in S3 and begin using standard SQL to run ad hoc queries and get results in seconds. Amazon QuickSight is a business intelligence service that you can use to deliver easy to understand insights to the people who you work with wherever they are. QuickSight connects to S3 and Athena, as well as other sources. You can use Amazon QuickSight Q, which is powered by machine learning, to answer your business questions quickly with natural language processing. This can save weeks of effort on the part of your BI teams. Getting into reference architectures, let's see a few workflows that can be built with these services. For those running analytics on top of their relational database, copying that data to S3 is a great first step. Running those same analytics on top of your data lake will reduce stress on your database, leading to better performance and a better experience for your customers. You can set S3 as a target for AWS database migration service, and then from there, you can use Glue to prepare your data for querying in Athena. Startups can also begin to pool disparate third-party data sources with services like Amazon AppFlow. AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that enables you to securely exchange data between software as a service applications. Customers can import data from third parties like Datadog, Facebook and Google Ads, Google Analytics, Salesforce, Slack, Snowflake, Zendesk, and more. Creating data flows takes minutes and doesn't require any code. AWS Lambda, our serverless compute service, can be used to process other data, such as that from Shopify. Lambda also works with Amazon Event Bridge software as a service partner integrations, enabling your event bus to trigger rules that evaluate all events and invoke a Lambda function as a target for matched events. Once your data is centralized in your data lake and processed, business analysts can then leverage our BI tool QuickSight to visualize that now combined data. Finally, setting up a data lake can also enable your future analytics state, providing a valuable starting point from which you can explore topics like AIML, a concept covered in greater detail later in our series. In this architecture, Amazon DynamoDB tables are exported to S3 and JSON. Glue converts those files into CSV format to be used as a data source for Amazon SageMaker. SageMaker renews the model artifact and updates the endpoint. Interested in learning more? Tune in to the rest of our Analytic Byte series, covering topics like streaming and machine learning, to see how your startup can build a modern data architecture on top of your serverless data lake. Links to additional resources can be found in this video's bio. 
And of course, feel free to reach out to your account team for additional resources as well. Thank you for watching and have a good one.